Jackson. I'd like to welcome in markets correspondent for the Schwab Network and my co-host on Next Gen Investing, Jenny Horn, uh, here with us. Uh, one of the loan names, Jenny, that is holding on to a bid today is Amazon. Talk to me about uh, what might be driving uh, some of that uh, positive momentum we have today. You know, thank goodness we covered some positive analyst news. I feel like all we've done is really hone in on Apple. But when you look at Amazon, I know they're very different companies, but they both do operate in this magnificent seven tech world. This name has one of the highest buy rating ratios of the analysts covering it that I really know. I mean, of the 55 analysts covering this name, 53 have buy or buy equal ratings. That's that's pretty solid, all things considered. So today, only seeing more analysts pour into that optimism. Morgan Stanley raising its price target to 185 from 175 with an overweight rating. They did also raise their fiscal 2024 and 2025 EBIT and EPS estimates by around 9 and 14 percent, respectively driven by prime video ads coming at the end of this month. And also on the expectation for some of their improvements, they said in the overall North American retail e-commerce space in terms of their profitability in that segment, which is one that has been scrutinized by the street for not being, of course, as lucrative as their cloud segment, frankly. But the firm now is modeling around $5.55 for their fiscal 2025 earnings per share and around $7.40 of free cash flow per share share they did say plus like you said we did get some layoff news i almost forget the various you know brands that fall under the amazon umbrella mm -hmm. because there are so many similar to a microsoft or an alphabet but twitch ceo did confirm the company is laying off more than 500 employees or roughly 35 percent of its staff that is pretty significant now i will say amazon as a unit does employ around 1.5 million employees in the united states they are massive but of course, when you're just looking at Twitch, 35% is something that's significant, and it's just the latest news we've heard about companies with these fresh layoffs as we enter this new year. No doubt, and they're not alone either. We are getting some uh, reports that Alphabet uh, also potentially cutting some jobs, and now we're talking about core engineering jobs, it seems, Jenny. So this is a different conversation. This isn't like a lagging part of your business. You're, mm -hmm. you're trimming some, uh, some of the fat here. Uh, this is like, hey, we're clamping down on expenses. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I think that's actually going to be something we start hearing from more and more companies. I highly doubt that Alphabet is the first we hear that are laying off some of these, I mean, like non-replaceable positions, which is sort of the redundancies we heard last year. It was the same time last year when we started hearing all of these major tech layoffs. But Google, which has been working, of course, to trim their expenses, did cut hundreds of employees who worked, like you said, on core engineering, as well as Google Assistant and various hardwares like their Pixel phone. This is according to The New York Times. And according to multiple sources that do have knowledge of the cuts, they said several hundred employees from their core engineering and corporate access teams did already receive notice that their rules were eliminated Wednesday night. So Google did say they've had to make some difficult decisions about the ongoing employment. And overall, I mean, like this statement that was released, it's pretty brutal to get this, this email late Wednesday night and, of course, and no longer be employed. I mean, this is just obviously horrible sentiment for those many hundreds of employees that were affected. I will say Alphabet, well, it's modestly lower today, down about 1.5%, excuse me, about two tenths of a percent lower. This name did touch new 52 week highs earlier in the session. Now, another one of these tech names, though, that is not at its all time highs because we do still remain off all time highs at around $151 a share by about 6%. So it's not like it's huge, but we're not close to all time highs. We're able to touch 52 week highs, though, earlier in the session. A lot of workers within that seems like the same industry being displaced at a similar time from Meta to Amazon to Alphabet, Unity, just hope they all land on their feet that there still is, uh, of course, job openings for that space uh, going forward. So far, no reason for us to think that there isn't. Uh, more on that later, though. Uh, thanks to Jenny Horn, Markets Correspondent for the Schwab Network. Let's get some insights on the macro.